user, you want to upgrade that Windows Home to Windows Pro? Or just get killer prices on Windows Office 2016 and cheap gaming keys? Head on down to 09. Make sure you copy and paste my code from the description to get a price that's going to make you go woo! Okay, okay, okay. Now, how do we cool down our laptop? How do we stop it from thermal throttling? Well, there's a few ways you can do it. You can repaste your laptop liquid metal or just repaste it with normal thermal paste that's an option but if you couldn't be bothered doing that there is another way you can try and control it and that's with undervolting and just controlling how much wattage the cpu can use and underclocking the gpu as well and the reason you would do that you think oh well i'm going to lose some performance but the worst thing about gaming is when you get massive drops in frames. So you you know you go on 60, 70 frames per second, and all of a sudden you drop to 30 or 40, and there's a massive dip in frame rates. That is a lot worse than you know, say playing at 70 versus 50 frames. You know, I'd rather play at 50 frames if it was consistent rather than playing at 70 frames and it was going up and down like a yo-yo. So this is a baseline here. As you can see, the third line, the CPU line, we're using about 40 watts of the CPU there, going at 3.9 gigahertz. And that's what we want to control. Also, we can control the boost clock of the GPU as well. That's going at 1700. Wow, this is full noise really now at the moment. That's really clocked high. Um, that's another thing we can control to uh, bring down the temperature. So... This doesn't overheat. I'm using the Dell G3 and I'm only using this because um, it's currently the laptop I'm reviewing and it's hard to talk and drive at the same time with the keyboard. Sorry about that, but <laughs> anyway. Um, and I'm trying to keep an eye on the telemetry too. So yeah, you can see we're using 44, 45 watts. We're getting 3.6. It's dropped from 3.9 now. So the wattage has dropped slightly and that's just because of temperatures and you can see we're getting 69 GPU and around 75 CPU okay so it, this isn't gonna overheat hello let's try this I'm going way too slow Woo! yeah baby oh fail that's a massive fail anyway so this is a baseline this one doesn't overheat so let's just say this did overheat and those temperatures where it's 80 was going into the 90s and the GPU was going into the 90s as well. Let's just pretend it did overheat. So how would we control that? First thing we can try is undervolting. All right, so let's try the undervolting. Uh, let's I'll tab out of here and I will leave a link in the description for these two pieces of software you'll need. You'll need MSI Afterburner and you'll need Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. Okay, so let's open the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility. All right, so it's open now. And and the first thing you do is you just go into the core voltage offset and you would minus whatever. You know, start at 50, 60 and go up. See how you go. I know this one could do 100. Depends on your laptop. So I'll just apply that. That's the first thing you do. And if it's okay with the temperature and it's not throttling then, good to go. Don't have to do anything else. But if it is still thermal throttling, you have to do you have to do this now you can use throttle stop to stop it from boosting at all and there are a lot of applications you can do it but i'm just using this because it's just one piece of software this uh turbo boost short power max enabled we want to reduce that you would start it say if it is thermal throttling quite a lot we can reduce that by quite a lot so i'll reduce that to 25 watts okay 25 watts, that's the maximum amount of watts the Turbo Boost can use, okay, now. And also, you could go here and underclock the GPU if you're still having temperature issues. And this is the thing. Every laptop's going to be different, so you just got to tweak everything. You've got to try the undervolt first, then you've got to try limiting the wattage, and then you've got to try, if that's still not working, try limiting the core frequency of the GPU, but we won't touch that for now. We'll just leave that and we'll just play the game. We've applied that undervolt and we've applied maximum of 25 watts. So let's get into the game and see what happens now. All right, so now I've limited the wattage to 25 watts and we're still getting 60 frames per second. So really haven't affected the frames per second. 
but the temperatures have a look at the temperatures now 64 okay frame rates did drop to 40 then there will be some reduction in your frame rates overall but this is a really busy freeway so it's not a great place to um get a gauge of how much it will impact your frame rate go away so i'll go to somewhere that's less busy and as you can see look we're only using 24 watts on the cpu and we've undervolted so the temperatures have gone from getting into the 90s high 80s getting into the 90s to look we're talking about uh temperatures now of 66 massive reduction in temperatures just by doing that trick we're still getting three gigahertz on the cpu okay so it's still a decent uh frequency for gaming the fans are much lower now, much lower. And the clock speed of the GPU is going full noise. And I'm not going to get those um, sudden frame drops. Now I'm still getting 60 frames per second, so I haven't really affected my game uh, play at all. So we're still getting the 60 frames per second. Now obviously, I think I've got V-Sync on. That's why it's capping out at 60. But the game play is not affected. This is still silky smooth at 60 i mean it's not 120 hertz not 120 frames but you know as good as 60 frames per second gets and yeah all right so we're dipping down a little bit but you know 10 frames per second is better than playing at 70 and having your you know laptop up and down like a yo-yo because it's thermal throttling and this will be better for consistent gaming for a long time Ooh, hello there so I'm still getting the pretty much the exact same gaming experience. I haven't really dropped the frames that much, but the temperatures are dropped by a huge amount. We're still getting three gigahertz. And in actual fact, I would go in here, like now that I've reduced that to 25 watts, I've got that under control. If you're still th thermal throttling at 25 watts, I would change, I would actually reduce the GPU. So if you were still thermal throttling, I would go into the GPU. Uh, I have to go into fire strike, sorry, fire. I have to go into afterburner and I would reduce this clock and maybe reduce it by whatever. So let's just see how the temperatures, let's reduce it by 200, the clock on the CPU, on the GPU, sorry. And let's go in. As you can see, it's going 1500 the GPU now, but look at the temperatures. And this is even if you just wanted a quiet gaming experience too. The fans aren't even really going that loud now. You probably can still hear them, but I've reduced the frame rates by about 10. It still get up to 60 every now and then as well. So, but I'm not getting thermal throttling. The frame rates aren't going up and down crazy. Not that this laptop does, but if your laptop did, I want a motorbike, please give me a motorbike. Ah, oh, can I catch him? So this is the way you do it. This is the way you stop your laptop from throttling and you'll see that I'm not really affecting the performance that much. I mean, 10 frames per second and I've reduced the GPU and CPU significantly. I'm getting temperatures like, you know, sometimes 70, like 20 degrees lower and 10 degrees lower on the GPU. Massive heat reduction there. It's never going to throttle like this. And that's just from an undervolt and a little bit of underclock of the Jeep CPU. And that's it. That's how you do it. Just, you're going to have to work out your system. I could just go in here. For example, we know it's not overheating. So I could, um, I would go in here now and I would say, hey, give me 30 watts. Give me 30 watts and we'll see if we're getting into the 80s again. Um, 30 watts, apply. And there's some power limit throttle in there, whatever. Um, and we'll go in there and you'll look. The CPU is using 30 watts now. Up to 30 watts, we're getting 3.5 now. Now the temperature should creep up from the low 60s up into the 70s, but the frame rates will not be affected that much now. Like if you're talking 35 watts to 40 watts, it's really the CPU... You know, we're going to be talking about five frames per second. If that, it's not going to be that much because we're still over three gigahertz, 3.2. I mean, would you put it up to 32 watts, you'll probably be getting 3.5. You know what I mean? 
So once you get over three gigahertz, there is a little bit of diminishing returns. Yes, of course, if you're going at four gigahertz on the CPU, you will be going faster, uh, faster frame rates. But have a look. Oh, hello. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. But still getting 60 frames per second. And look, not even 70 degrees. So this is how you control your laptop. This is how you stop it from thermal throttling. And this will be a much better gaming experience than if you um, have let your you know laptop thermal throttle all the time, going up and down like a yo-yo, get micro stutters. I cannot stand micro stutters. This is the way you do it. It's simple. And, you know, that's not even in the 70s now. I'll go in there. Let's change it to... Um, how much watts we're going to put in now? Let's, sorry, I was on that page. Where are you? Let's give it 35 watts. And some laptops, they do this automatically anyway. So, um, to keep temperatures under control. So, you know, your mileage may vary with whatever laptop, but they're still getting a solid 60. I should turn off VSync. Um, but now we're getting 3.6 and the temperatures are slowly getting up into the 70s. So this is super simple to do. You're going to get a better gaming experience. Not that much hit in the frame rate department. Um, it will depend on games, of course, how much CPU the games use. Different games will affect it differently. So yeah, hope you got something out of that. And control your beast. Get it under control. I'll catch you in the next one. Woo! Let's go, baby. Tully Ho.